if we give him exclusive, that means excluding all other things, exclusive, attentive affection that prefers him above ourselves, we will be met with a unique love from him, a love that can be described as a self disclosing love and abiding presence. See, love, the exclusive means of knowing God. We see Jesus reveals this very teaching to us that God is known by love. Uh, let's just think about this for a second. Love is uh, an affectionate feeling and selfless voluntary surrender to another who has won your heart. When Jesus is seen in the gospel, he wins the heart because he has forgiven you. He has died in your stead. He has protected you and provided for you, sent his spirit into you for life. He has severed you from your sins and given you victory and power over the enemy. He has given to you the enjoyment of his presence, his very own person. He has given to you joys that the world does not know and peace far beyond the ability to understand. And in this, he wins the heart and it causes the heart to affectionately feel for him and selflessly, voluntarily be selfless to him because he has won our hearts. And that's what love is. That's why Jesus says that if you obey him, in other words, you put his desires above yours, that's how he will know that you love him and that's how you will express your love for him. Obedience is the proof of love because obedience is the fruit of love. Yes, he lives where he's loved. So where the life of ourselves is given up we receive the life of God. This is the exchange of love. You see, when God is enjoyed, that is the expression and the receiving of God's love. See, an apple tree is proof. Uh, actually, an apple is proof of an apple tree because an apple tree bears apples. Jesus says in John 14, he says, he who has my commandments and keeps them is the one who loves me. He who loves me will be loved by my father and I will love him and will disclose myself to him. One of the disciples asked, how, do, how are you going to do that? Disclose yourself to us and not others. He says, if anyone loves me, he will keep my word and my father will love him. And he will, we will come to him and make our abode with him. There is a exclusive love for Jesus that actually causes a unique response from Jesus, which is called disclosure. Jesus shows himself to those who love him. Love him meaning put him above themselves because their hearts have been won by what he is and what he has done. I want to encourage you that this is what the Christian life actually is. God is known by love and love alone. And that love happens when we see him in the gospel. So when we look daily at the gospel, it quickens daily love. And that daily love is a daily affectionate bursting, an affectionate desire, but also it is a selfless laying down. It is a giving up of ourselves to what he wants and to what he desires. That's a holy life, a holy life by love. It was St. John of the Cross who said, when a man walks lovesick for God, he fulfills the first commandment to perfection. It is here in loving him. As Brother Lawrence said, the quickest way to God is love. When the heart relinquishes itself to him in submission to and acceptance of this great 
image of Christ we see in the gospel, then it responds with love. You know, we sometimes try to separate Christ and the gospel, but there is no Christ to be seen apart from the gospel. The gospel is the means of seeing Jesus. Anything you will ever know and recognize about the person of Jesus is because of the gospel, what it is, what he is, who he is, and what he has done. That's what the gospel is. And so without you take the gospel out, there is no Christ but some imaginary fabricated thing in the mind of man. It is the gospel that shows us what Jesus is really like. So I find that the empowerment of the spirit and the value system of heaven happens to me. It happens to me when I surrender to the gospel of Christ. That is him for me, apart from me a favor for me that is utterly apart from me. It is a perfect work of Christ. My insufficiency thrown upon the all-sufficient one. That's prayer, that's spiritual life, that's Christianity. I'll say it like this. Somebody once said, um, if, if, being a Christian is simply doing what Jesus said to do, then Jesus is not a savior. For by doing what he said to do, we have effectively saved ourselves. Now what that means is that Jesus is the savior, meaning man cannot obey God in and of himself, nor can he please God. But to throw ourselves upon Jesus Christ, that's how the saving work is done. And that saving work causes the spirit to enter in where God can then perform the thing himself, where the spirit works in you both to will and to do for his good pleasure. But if we put the cart before the horse and say, Christianity is just doing what Jesus said to do, then Jesus is actually not saving anybody because the people are saving themselves by works. But works will flow inevitably, will flow spontaneously, will flow absolutely from that life that has the life of the Spirit through the gospel. Praise God, seeing Jesus in the way that he has shown himself to be in the gospel. So I pray that love, fresh love, would burst up on the inside of you and that you would find the image of the man Christ Jesus formed in front of your face by the gospel day in and day out and that your heart would burst up in love with him and desire to just lay your own self down and you'll find as you have probably already found that that's the greatest joy there is the deepest peace a man can know flowing streams from the fountain himself when we lay down our lives in front of him so Blessings to you guys. God is known by love, period. That's, that's, the, that's Christianity, to love him. Uh, if you are desiring to uh, give Jesus the kind of love he deserves and be aided in that through our ministry, we have a uh, benefit for our donors through Patreon. On Tuesday nights we meet and we talk about these very things every Tuesday night. I'll put a link down below if you want to join us uh, in the in the uh, the wonderful time that we have together in the Adoration Mentoring International that we do on Tuesdays. God bless you guys.